Yeah. Heat shield, I need you. I'll be right there. I got you. what's up it's Chris I'm down here at Speed Society they called us up they got a problem with uh, brake lines really close to their header so we're gonna drop in our stealth sleeve brand new we're gonna put it up in here as you can see the header runs right next to the brake line so the important thing is to get that hook and loop closure away from the heat the best you can so I'm turning the shield away from where the header is all right so the stealth sleeve is done it's gonna protect that brake line I started looking at this piece here it has this small factory heat shield on there and then this aluminum piece as well I thought we'd go with our sticky shield on that one uh, it's basically clean make a template peel and stick this is the one foot by two foot piece aluminized on the outside has a fiberglass core and an adhesive back it also comes with the cool foil tape basically seam the area uh, so it's not exposed it's not necessary but it does make it look a little more OEM a little more factory comes with your instruction sheets and of course like all of our products comes with a sticker So when you trim this stuff, the important thing is get a new blade. You can see I just slowly peeling the paper off the back to get it to fit on here without trying to stick it all on at one time, just making sure that it all stays there. We added sticky shield here to this factory aluminum heat shield. It's gonna radiate more heat away from those uh, important components, which is the brake line and the fuel line go down through here. You can see we finished it off with the cool foil tape so it looks OEM. Then we have the new stealth sleeve that's up there that's covering the brake lines that are exposed. So all in all, this should fix the problem. That's a wrap from Speed Society. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. I will also put a link to the parts I used in the description. Have a good one.